Hello my sweet friends, how are you doing? This time we're gonna see how to make our own patch assets to create this weird little thing here and way more things. So let's go ahead and see how it's made. Let's restart it because it's kind of, yeah. So I mean, let's open it up and see what's inside here. Let's go. So we have our SDF line. So I've connected it with this little input here. So now I have control from here in a main patch. So if you try changing number here, it changes and it also changes the number inside here, as you can see. So it's going through a twist, which is what makes th this little twisting and also is the reason why it's moving. If I restart it, it goes back to the start and it starts creating this shape because it's attached to a runtime that goes through a multiply and then I have access to the change the value inside when we go back to main we have optical time and so we can change the, the value here and then it goes into a shear same concept you can control it from here or have an input and control it uh, with a clean view, a clean point of view to the patch assets. It goes through a, a repeat, which is why it's repeating this pattern. So if I change the variant here, X, Y, repeat, and there you have it. Then it goes inside the complement because I wanted to switch colors as you can see if we don't use it we have the exact opposite kinds of inverting then we have a, this mix patch where we are controlling the colors and then we have our output and actually already uh, the diffuse texture from our material here I included it inside the patch but you don't have to <clears throat> so to make all of this and uh, yeah now I'm connecting the camera texture to one color so you can actually see me but if you disconnect it you just have these beautiful patterns Maybe you want to use it as a background for something, I don't know. I have a color cycle here. You can plug it inside here and have it looping. It's cooler if we look at it and it's slower. I don't know, I can't see it on lots of background. And you know kind of music videos and so when you have your patch so how to make this let's reconnect the camera texture so you can see me a little bit so um, you can click on your patch and go group properties and here it's where you can give the name your patch you can enter a description if you want to remember what's going on here and then you have plus inputs and a plus and of course if you click on it a new input it's gonna show up and when you have a new input you can change the name so I don't I don't know yet what I want you to do but you can change the name, we're gonna go on this a little bit. We can change the type, so it's number now, but we can have it color, and see here, we're gonna see a little color option. You can add Boolean, such as an input, and so on. So let's see how we want it. Let's go back to number, 
when you create an input if you open your patch again you will find it somewhere inside the group so the way I do it is I take it and I see some free values I can attach this let's see if something cool shows up let's see let's do something like this let's add an SDF rotation connect it here let's restart it so let's actually disconnect the twists so we connect this in the angle and it broke it so we connect it in the pivot what did I do wrong? In properties input. Factor two. Let's go back there. And let's connect it now. And now it works. Now we can go back to main. Now we know that we're using we're changing the pivot of the rotation. So we can go back to main, back to our patch, group properties, and call this rotation if you want, or pivot, and then if you want an input limit, you can tell the minimum is, let's say, or the default value 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, and then the minimum 0, 1, 0, 1, something like that. Why not things changing? Oh. You have to set some angle in order to make it work. And this is how you include something inside a patch and uh, and then and then when you're here so this is how you can make a little patch it's a breakdown and by the way if you got here you now know that this patch is for free and you can free download it on my gumroad i'm gonna give you the link in the description so i hope you liked this tutorial and it was helpful have a great one, see you in the next one.